Hello everyone and welcome to part 7. So we'll not do any uh, waffling on, we'll just get straight on with it this time. <laughs> so you're going to want to come to the fourth section here and then drop down and this will be um, on the deck below what the uh, the front of the ship is. So you've got them three there that are a deck above. So you've got this here. And we're just going to start by walling it off. Counting the doors as well. I think that was seven. I think. Count from this way. Yeah, seven from the left is your doorway. And then seven from this way as well. And that's your doorways. And uh, you can just wall it off. I'm using uh, smooth quartz. You can use whatever you like. Um, white concrete. Or whatever. It's like random blocks like that. I've got to stay so. Let's do this. I need to count this doorway in first. So. The ninth block from the left is that doorway. And then there's another one over here. And that's the seventh from the from the right. <laughs> Just fill this back in. Okay, then you can just wall it off. I'm not sure, I can't remember if I, if I show you the placements for the windows. Um, they're pretty randomly placed, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> you can place them wherever you think they work. But it's just going to be uh, steerage accommodation in here. So the rooms aren't flashy or anything like that. So you should have that for now. Okay. So from this doorway here, third block to the right, you want to just encase your stairway there, which you should already have in. Okay, and just encase that in there. And then place a metal door because it's crew only through that bit. Okay, place, well you can neaten this bit up as well. And uh, place a door down there. Trap doors. Um, they're not. They're not. They're not trap doors. There are <laughs> pressure plates. Oh, I'm just. I'm not thinking properly today. <laughs> I think I need uh, coffee. Yes, a nice, lovely coffee to wake me up a little bit. Right. So that's that done. And then you can do the same here as well. Just tidy that up. There we go. Pressure plate. That's what they are. <laughs> pressure plate. Not trap door. Pressure plate. You can do the same here. This is optional, of course. <clears throat> you can just have normal doors in this bit if, if you like. <laughs> I remember this happening. <laughs> Such a noob. Right. So that's what you should have. So we will do the layout now. Just going to be accommodation. I do show you where the windows are. So it should be grey stained glass. No, oh, change it to black. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit darker and uh, <clears throat> I think it looks a bit better than normal windows. But it's entirely up to you what you want to use. 
But like I said, they, they're pretty randomly placed, to be honest. There you go. And now we should be getting on with the layout, I think. <coughs> so, nice and easy. Come to your doorway here on the left. And two there. Place a block down and then gap for a door. Two there. Four there. One there. Gap for a door. And then two. And three to the left. <clears throat> and then from this block here, <laughs> one, and then a door, and then one there. Pretty easy, to be honest. So from here, you want two gap, and then place four down there, one to the left, doorway, three, doorway, and then two, and then connect it up to the wall there, and then just separate these two rooms in the middle, just like that. Okay, so from this doorway here, one, one there, gap for a door, two, and five to connect to the wall, second block in, block there, doorway, three, doorway, and then one, and then just separate these two rooms here. And that's the layout for this compartment. So it's just a case of building your walls up and stuff. And uh, we'll get the beds in. <clears throat> you might wonder what those marking outs in the in the room are. Um, Cadet marked out where the beds will go in. You're just trying to be helpful. So that's all, all that is. It's just where the beds are going to go. And uh, chests and stuff. Um, just bear in mind that this was steerage. So the rooms really weren't anything flashy at all. Well, this shouldn't take long. Hope you're uh, all finding it nice and easy to do. Not having any problems and everything's lining up the way it's supposed to. <laughs> it is a nice easy tutorial, this one. I'm enjoying it so far, apart from the rubbish deck plant. So your doorways, just well, you won't need to take the purple blocks out because they won't be there for you. Um, but we'll just put normal doors in here. You don't have to be the metal ones. And we have a noisy builder outside again. <laughs> this Empress of Ireland tutorial has been plagued by noisy people outside. So like, how dare you work? Go away. Okay, so that's that. And then, should be a case of putting the beds in. I'll speed this bit up a little bit though, to try to save a bit of time. So, they're just going to be, <coughs> sorry, bump beds in here, like we did on Titanic. Um, to place a bed on top of another one, you need to crouch and then place it on top. See, in the Titanic I didn't know about that, so I was placing like two blocks down, placing a bed on top of it and then uh, removing the blocks and then placing the bed underneath which obviously took considerably longer and I started doing the same thing on Empress until Kadek showed me that you only need to crouch <laughs> so I could have done with knowing that back on the Titanic <laughs> so that's your rooms, literally just beds and, and, and a chest nothing special at all but that is that section done okay so Moving on to the next compartment. So this one is going to look a bit nicer because it's a wider compartment. So you've already got your doorways there from the pre previous compartment. So if you come to the right here, we're going to count in. Eight for your doorway there. And then on the left, nine so it's the ninth blocks that you need to take out okay so there are your doorways so i'll count some windows in for you as well if you like so third block there 
And then fourth block there. Eighth block, I think. And then the fourth block there. It's really difficult counting on black. It's ridiculously dark. <laughs> so third block there. And then the fourth block. And then the eighth block. And then the fourth block there. And they're just some window placements for you. Uh, so we will wall it off now. So I am going to have to look at deck plans a lot better from now on. I know I, I keep saying this all the time. Um, I said I was going to do nomadic and then turned out I could only find French deck plans. Uh, and then obviously this one, well, traffic didn't have any deck plans, but I wanted to do it anyway because it's kind of connected to the nomadic and, and Titanic and stuff. Uh, and then this one... <laughs> Um, I didn't double check the plans and they've been horrendous to work with because they're blurry. So I really, 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 really need to check plans next time. So like, you know, I mean, I'm happy for people to request ships and I will look into them uh, for future uh, tutorials, but I'll only do them if the depth plans are nice and clear and easy to follow. Okay, so I think next we will be doing the layout. As long as I don't pause for too long. Right, so the door on the left, so right next to it there. You want four, and then one, the doorway, and then three, and then just split them off. Doorway, two, and then connect it up to the wall there. That's that little bit done. Okay, and then there'll be a one block gap, a two there, doorway, three, and a doorway, and then two. Eight back, one to the left, doorway, three, doorway, and then two. And then just connect these up here. And then split this down the middle. And then split it off again I think it's the fourth block back so then you've got four different rooms there then so that's that bit done we're getting there okay one block gap again two doorway three split that off and a doorway and then two and then three back there and then three there okay so we'll come to the left again. So should be a three, well, yeah, three, yeah, third block over. <laughs> uh, three blocks there, split that off. Doorway, then three, then doorway, and decided to do that one different, I don't know why. <laughs> doorway, two, not three. I don't half confuse myself sometimes. I remember Will going mad at me for doing that. Like changing how I do stuff just randomly. So third block over. One there, doorway, and then three. Split that off. And then doorway, and three. Doorway, and three. Doorway. And then three. And then doorway and one. Okay, so that's your layout. So I think we'll be getting on with the beds, I think, again. Oh no, sorry, we've got to bring the walls up first. <laughs> but I might speed this bit up as well. So, the Queen Mary. It seems to have done very well so far. It's been uh, very well received by people. <coughs> um, I don't know how many of you have already had a look at part one or even followed part one already. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can see the difficulty level is completely different to this. This is just 
really nice and easy. <laughs> but, oh, but the Queen Mary is a different kettle of fish altogether. That is just, it's ridiculously big. <laughs> I didn't realise just how big it was when I said um, that I was going to do the Queen Mary interior and stuff. And when I was building the exterior, it took me forever because I was on bedrock, only bedrock at the time. Um, it wasn't on the server, we hadn't made the server. Um, so yeah, I built it on bedrock and it just took forever. And I remember Rich saying in his video that you're better off doing it with a team of people. And I remember thinking, oh, it'd be right. You know, it can't be any any worse than like building the Titanic on your own. And I, I was completely wrong. <laughs> it took me a ridiculous amount of time just to um, just to build the exterior. And then you look at the size of it when the hole's done and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> So as you can see, it's exactly the same in this compartment as it was in the last one. It's just bunk beds and chests. And that is it. I mean, technically I could have cut this bit out, but it gave me a chance to waffle on a little bit without it taking a ridiculous amount of time up. I managed to save four minutes by speeding this up, so that's four minutes less than you're having to follow the tutorial for. <laughs> But yes, it looks like we are nearly done because it's slowed down. So just the last couple of beds now, chests, and that is this area done. So we're doing quite well. You got that. So we've just got the next compartment to deal with and then uh, there's a compartment at the back as well that we're going to deal with in a moment. So, moving on to the next one. Okay, so uh, looks like it's bedrooms and there's a couple of rooms for toilets in this one as well. So, near enough the same, but just uh, a few areas for toilets. So you've already got your doorways in. There are no other doorways in this one um, because that other bulkhead at the back which we'll get to in a minute, I'll be able to explain it a bit better. I don't know if you want to follow this for the windows or not. This bulkhead that to the left, <laughs> this to the left now, um, that actually leads into like the engine room and stuff like that. Um, so there are no doorways. So it is just a case of putting some windows in, if you want to do that first, and then uh, walling it off. Nice and simple. So I am actually hoping to get Empress fully finished and recorded by, well, a week today um, with a bit of luck because then I can just throw all my time at Queen Mary then and it will uh, take some stress away because doing two ships at the same time has actually been very stressful even though I've actually got people helping me with it um, it's still been stressful because I I still have to do all the editing and stuff on my own and yeah it's just not been easy <laughs> but I'm looking forward to this one being finished and uh, just concentrating on one ship that would be very nice okay so it's all walled off now so we'll do the layout so I'll come to the door on the left facing the front of the ship third block to the left place one there doorway three, split that off, then doorway, and then three, split that down the middle as well, doorway and then two, and split that off, okay, so you've got that, so face the back of your ship now, so I'll leave a one block gap, and that'll be four, and doorway two and split that off there and then you're going to do little cubicles here so you should have room for three toilets in here one there doorway and then three and then split that off 
the doorway and then three split that off as well doorway and three <laughs> split that off as well doorway and three split that off as well doorway and four and then just a couple of cubicles in here so obviously one's men's one's ladies I couldn't tell you which one's which because I couldn't see the writing on the debt plans it's so like I said they've been awful to work with so these toilets here you want a one block gap then five one there doorway and then three split that off doorway and three split it down the middle and then doorway and then one so then there's just the middle bits to deal with now so the doorway on the right facing the front of the ship six two to the left doorway and three then five doorway then three and then five that's that bit one block gap you know three doorway three doorway and then three four ten and then just connect them up and then just split them down the middle there there we go and that's the layout so looks like I'll be speeding it up again because it all saves time so I actually decided to do a cut instead um, because it, it saves even more time in the video but yeah so that's basically it for the front of the ship anyway we've just got something really quick to do at the back any moment now when I decide to move today would be nice there we go <laughs> so we're gonna head towards the back now so in here just got some toilets to add um, and the rest is just gonna be uh, cargo so the cargo hatch here um, I just opened up the front of it and then uh, it's just going to be shelves and stuff around but well, you can do it how you want to do it to be honest uh, but we're just going to sort that staircase out and uh, the toilets and we'll be pretty much done so I'll come to the left on the seventh block have your staircase facing that way and it needs to go up by four steps <coughs> excuse me and then you're just going to bring your uh, staircase up well yeah the casing up <laughs> I can't speak today and then a uh, wood block and uh, yes we'll uh, do the same on this side with the white blocks there we go that was one too many okay so your staircase will be like looking like that on the deck above <sighs> now for some reason I don't know why I decided to pause here I think I might have uh, gone to have a look at something maybe on the design ship so the back of your staircase when I move <laughs> there we go right so I'll count from here seven and then seven and then a gap for a door and then just take it up to the wall and then you're going to have four cubicles in here and this is just uh, some crew toilets okay 
So there's your cubicles. Don't forget this one here. There we go. Doors. And then you can have a couple of hoppers in there as well for um, sinks. <laughs> Just bring the walls up. Nice and easy. And then uh, that's, that's pretty much it. There's only about two minutes of the video left, roughly. So obviously this is going to be your next deck. So obviously when you've finished in here, put the uh, put the next deck in above it. Okay, so we'll have the staircase like that. So uh, for the rest, it was just cargo. You can place it in how you like. Um, I did some shelving, well, what kind of looks like shelving around the cargo hatch area. Some shelving at the back here as well. But it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. You know, get creative with it if you like. But this is just how I did it. And that is pretty much it. Yes. That is it for part seven. So, I hope you're still enjoying the tutorial. And not finding it too difficult. Like I said, put the, uh, the, um, ceiling. <laughs> Put the ceiling on, or the next deck, whatever you want to call it, and then uh, you're all good to go for the next part. So, we did quite a bit there. Lovely. Right, so, that's it. <laughs> I hope you followed along okay and didn't have any problems. If you did, leave me a message and I will get back to you. And I hope to catch you in the next part. Thanks for watching.